Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So we got some VR news for this week, guys, and it's pretty interesting stuff here, especially what's going on with Oculus. Assassin's Creed VR and Splinter Cell VR are officially planned for exclusively the Oculus platform. Now, there's a rumor uh, that two people that are familiar with the matter are saying that uh, Oculus is looking outright to buy game studios and are signing exclusive deals as we speak right now to get big and major titles on the Oculus system. And that comes an example of Assassin's Creed and Splinter Cell VR. Now, don't tell me that Assassin's Creed VR and Splinter Cell VR would be perfect games to have in virtual reality. I mean, Assassin's Creed, you running and doing parkour and using your hands to, you know, cut people's throats or something like that, and also like sword fighting, it would be perfect on the VR platform. Even Splinter Cell, we have a game that's coming out real soon called Aspire One. That game is heavily inspired by Splinter Cell and games like Metal Gear Solid and stuff like that. So I believe especially Splinter Cell was made for VR. I mean, it's perfect for the system and we're only gonna get more confirmation on that when we get, uh, you know, the game like Aspire 1 to get the feeling of stealth combat in VR. So these are really exciting titles that uh, I want to see on Oculus. I wish they were on other systems, but I guess because Facebook has the money to invest in these uh, titles to come on their platform, they're going ahead with it. You know, Oculus and Facebook, they really want to dominate the VR market. And the way to do that, we've seen from PlayStation, is by having good games. And if uh, Assassin's Creed VR and Splinter Cell VR are full-fledged uh, VR titles, and, you know, they have their own story, and they have, uh, you know, a bunch of hours into it and they're not just like experiences you know that are like 20 minutes long then i believe that people are going to be purchasing the oculus system rather than all the other vr systems because of these system selling potential titles so that is exciting news for you oculus guys and of course revive if you want to you know hop in with your valve index or something like that then you could this is awesome news and i'm glad that there is a company you know, like Facebook, that's able to invest in the money to, you know, kick VR off with just such uh, amazing titles. All right, guys, moving on to the further news for this week. We got No Man's Sky Beyond, which is like the VR update and also some other updates involved there that, uh, that are pretty exciting for No Man's Sky players. But not only that, but the VR is going to be officially coming really, really soon. Now, there's been a rating for the VR version of No Man's Sky, and it was uh, the 8th. July 8th, and that means that it's going to be releasing probably later down this month or at the latest August. They did confirm that this update is going to be coming in summer 2019, so that is very, very close. I know a lot of people are excited to get their hands on No Man's Sky VR. I know like many of us, we look at No Man's Sky and it's improved so much over the time it's been released with that huge disappointing launch and failed promises. It looks like these guys here at Hello Games are Really excited to bring out something as polished and innovative as No Man's Sky Beyond and their VR update added to it, which is going to be super great. I know when playing No Man's Sky, I play the game and I always wonder sometimes like, man, what if this was in VR? Because this would be a perfect game for VR. And not only is it the perfect game for VR, it's also going to be compatible with other players that are on console. So if you want to hop in and play with your friends, then you can and you're going to be on the same servers as other people. I don't know if it's on console. I don't think No Man's Sky is, is uh, crossplay, but I guess I'm assuming you're playing on PC, then you can play with other PC guys. I'm not fully sure on that, but it is going to be really, really cool to see this game in VR, especially if you have a really good headset like the Valve Index or Rift S. You're going to get the clarity that's going to make you feel like you're right in that cockpit. I cannot wait. All right, moving on to more news about Google Stadia. A lot of you guys have heard about this. Google Stadia is a VR gaming streaming service that's coming out later this year. And the question has arose that is Google Stadia even going to support VR? And is that even planned? So uh, that was asked in the FAQ. And the answer is that they have no plans uh, of sharing anything regarding that information. So safely put, they are not interested right now in VR. They are solely uh, dependent right now on getting even the games to work well while streaming. So I, I understand that. But it is interesting to think about that maybe one day Google Stadia or another streaming service uh, with the technology, of course, you know, developing in the future that maybe we could have wireless VR, maybe not directly from a streaming service from Google like Stadia, but maybe 
uh, a software from Steam themselves, like Valve and maybe our HTC, instead of having to buy, uh, you know, the Vive wireless, wireless adapter, the headset maybe could be built in for wireless to stream directly from your PC. And of course, Oculus is looking into wireless solutions as well. So it is a possibility for streaming. And uh, it's just going to matter, of course, your internet connection uh, with Google Stadia if they were to do, uh, you know, VR uh, streaming, which it, it would really matter the millisecond response time because VR is really important in that area. So uh, it might not be from Stata we see the streaming, but that is exciting to think about. All right, guys, hope you did go on to enjoy the video. If you guys did, go down, leave a like, and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. If you guys like these sort of news videos for the week, because there's a lot of VR gaming news, uh, then make sure you guys go down and let me know in the comments. All right, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one. Peace out.